Uh, and now uh, we've got the pleasure of uh, some poetry. And so uh, uh, our uh, next kai kōrero, uh, Daisy Lavea Timo. Uh, Daisy's spent 15 years working in education, youth and government sectors as an educator, youth worker, uh, engagement practitioner and facilitator. She co-founded, uh, sorry, she founded Cross Pollinate with a desire to combine a team of Avengers to improve outcomes for people and communities across the Motu and Te Moana Nuiākiwa. Daisy is a proud wife and mum. She's also the 2017 New Zealand Slam Poetry Champion, a 2020 Creative New Zealand New Zealand Leadership Scholar, uh, and has spoken and performed internationally, has a few degrees from the University of Canterbury, and dabbles in rugby league. Uh, Noreira, uh, she's going to share three pieces with us tonight. Uh, the first being the Saigon seafood market relating to the planet. Uh, the second uh, is entitled Fringe Dwellers relating to people. And the third uh, and final is the Tuttle Garden. We are the change. Uh, so, tēnei te mihi kia koe, uh, Daisy, kei a koe te wā. Kia ora koutou katoa, uh, no South Auckland ahau. Ko Daisy Toku Ingoa, uh, Malo Lava Soi Fua, Male Lange Mama, Fafte Lava Lo Sunga, Corbin Moleava Noa. Uh, indulge me if you will, if be so kind for the next five minutes. Um, I'll share a few poems that Corbin alluded to. So, of course, the first poem has to be about food, um, but it's also a nod to the sustainable consumption, production, and management of Kaimoana, and long may it continue for our future generations. The Vietnam Seafood Market. Saigon Sun gives shade to boundless banks, busy long before he has risen. Between vendors and drive through scooters, stacks of rainbow fish, shells, crustaceans, and all types of kaimoana fill their hangers to the brim. This is the currency administered by the intergenerational life within. Sardines queue up to morph into fish stock. Mackerel sliced and diced peep in the front row seats. Fish eggs auctioned to tap dancing bidders. Long an and gyan fish brass makes a mean chili rice. Snakehead fish head in takeaway bags. Octopus and sea shrimp, they're cheap as chips, bro. Camo crabs are classified, achieved, merit, excellence, then shipped off to private restaurants. Mountains of snails separated from shells. This tropical paradise is an open air romance of Kaimoana from the Mekong Delta East Sea in the Gulf of Thailand. A world of wonders, mouth-watering highs, how sweet it is to shop under Saigon's sky. Kia ora. A uh, big mihi to Ali Jacks, the 2012 um, New Zealand Slam Poetry Champion, who's also in the audience and an epic storyteller. I see you, sis, and hi to my friend Jason Pemberton. So now that we're all hungry, the second piece is a mihi to people. And in some of the spaces I sit in, I see the poverty. And it can get hard, but um, that grind for mana motuhake never ends. And so that SDG goal around the determination to end poverty and hunger in all forms and dimensions, and to ensure that all human beings can fulfill their potential and dignity and equality in a healthy environment kind of resonated for me. And this piece is called Fringe Dwellers. If I was to map a settlement narrative that led to my creation, I'd start by saying my heart beats louder than my words. See, there's this big silver teapot of 100% pure organic koko Samoa bubbling in my stomach, tooting hunger and obesity through its long nose and shrill whistles that pierce my insides. The little girl feeling around, making sense of the terrain, plays indiscernible chord progressions known only to those who sit in the shadows of intersections. Because when parents bend time to cross only at twilight, she quickly learns how to tuck her, sublink, her siblings and herself in, into South Auckland primary school shoes with holes, sellotaped hole, and school shoes three sizes too big as the head girl of a decile 10 high school in Epsom. She, Colors outside lines that come together in stark contrast, this preacher turned poet silenced in the pulpits of magnanimous churches. She's too aware of the red lights on all four corners, one 
how did you get an A plus? Two, you're here on the Pacifica quota, right? Three, can't succeed too much in one world, can't succeed in the other. Four, how much do you get an hour? As if that dollar value equals potential. And what if the dollar value is well below the minimum wage? And when did a dollar become synonymous with worth? And boy, you can know your worth, but not always feel it, right? Flirting the line between humility and arrogance, she negotiates words that divide moments for expectation's sake. Sitting in the margins and knowing how to hold the va, the spaces, is a blessing. It is to be both the figure Michelangelo said struggled to be free from the raw marble and the living mechanism called to function and replicate. It is to hold both the chisel and the gene with clean partitions and clockwise precisions. It is to own it, to know the confluence and liquid alchemy that we have always lived in. Our indigenous whakaro permits us to design complex forms with simple code. And as we explore solar systems with the same design principles, we realize that we are both nature inspired design and design inspired nature. For us, there is no part this or part that, only everything and everyone or nothing at all. Kia ora. Whew. All right. Um, so this final verse is just a nod to everyone in the room. May we continue to be the mirrors and windows um, for the change that we want to see in this world. And thank you again for your generosity of attention. It's called Taro Garden. Some days I'm like my father-in-law's Taro Garden in Wollstone on a June morning before Saturday footy. I have to crinkle myself up snap up the icy grass and frosty stalks and wilting leaves, snatch my machete and vele the weeds. Me, I'm not always the green balusami leaf. Yeah, some days I have to choose to plant my taro legs and ground them and remind myself that I, I am shade, I am root and I am 30, 60 and a hundredfold good soil. Fafte love everyone. Uh, kei te talking o Matariki o te kupu, uh, te nā koe Daisy, um, mua o era o ngā uh, kōrero, era kupu i puta i ākoe, o tira he tohu uh, o te ranga tiratanga uh, nā reira tēnei au e mihi kaua tūnei ki ākoe. Uh, if we can just get another uh, show of appreciation for Daisy, um, not only am I hungry, but <laughs> um, particularly the seafood. <laughs> <laughs>